Welcome to your final video on writing the equation for a line. Today we're going to be focusing on how to write an equation based on its table of values. Now it's been a while since we've actually worked with table of values, but what I want you to start by writing down in your notes is just um, to remind yourself that all a table of values is giving us is just a set of ordered pairs. And in the past we used those ordered pairs to graph the line, but now we're going to use those ordered pairs to help us find the slope, determine what kind of a line we are dealing with, and then write the equation. Which takes us to our steps. You'll recognize these steps as we've written them down in previous videos. Step number one is to find the slope. Now because we are given all ordered pairs in our table, we're just going to let you pick any two from the table and you're going to go back to our slope formula. The y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now while you're choosing points from the table, it's always smart to stay away from negatives and keep your numbers small if possible, just so that your calculations are a little bit easier. Once you've determined the slope, you need to decide what type of a line you are dealing with. And remember your choices are diagonal, horizontal, and vertical. And depending upon that line, that's going to determine what type of an equation you need. And so your final step is to write the equation. And that's going to look different depending on if it's a diagonal line versus a horizontal versus a vertical. So let's start our first example here. You'll notice this is a pretty typical table. The x values go from negative 2 to 2, and then the y values are given there for you. What we're missing, though, is the equation. So we're kind of working backwards from what we used to do. So we're going to select two points. And let's make it easy. Let's go with 0, 1 and 1, 3. Let's label those right away, x1, y1 and x2, y2. And then we're going to go ahead and do the slope formula. On the top, we've got 3 minus 1, and on the bottom, 1 minus 0. When we simplify, we have 2 over 1, or 2. Once we have a slope of 2, that tells us that we have a diagonal line. Remember, basically any number will give us a diagonal line. The only exception would be 0 or undefined. Once we have a diagonal line, that means we're going to start with the point-slope form. So let's review what that is. It's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Since we have our points labeled, this should be fairly easy to, to substitute. We have y minus 1 equals 2 multiplied by x minus 0. On the left-hand side, we just bring down the y minus 1. And on the right-hand side, we distribute the 2. So we have 2x plus 0, or minus 0. It really doesn't matter. Now we're going to get y by itself. We add 1 to both sides, only combining the like terms. And we end up with our equation in slope-intercept form, y equals 2x plus 1. Our next example is still a table, even though it's organized a little bit differently. It's just a horizontal table. You still have to choose two points and I'm still going to stay away from negatives. Looks like I'm going to go with 0, 3, and I also want to avoid the decimal, so let's go with 2, 2. Label your points, x1, y1, x2, y2, and then go ahead and calculate our slope. So we have 2 minus 3 over 2 minus 0, which gives us negative 1 over 2. Now we're going to determine our type of line. Since it's a negative 1 half, we do have a diagonal line. Which means when we write the equation, we are going to start with point slope form. So just reviewing the general form. And then we'll make our substitution. So we've got y minus 3 equals negative 1 half times the quantity x minus Zero. On the left hand side we bring down the y minus 3 and on the right hand side again we distribute negative 1 half x and then the nice thing here when we chose our point of 0 it just goes to 0 again. Add 3 on both sides to get y by itself and our final equation is y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 in slope intercept form. Now we chose the points 0, 3 and 2, 2 
regardless of which points you choose in your table, everyone, when simplified, will come up with the same equation. So your work might look different from someone else in the class, but your final answer should be the same. All right, our last example. This time we have a table, but the x values just kind of seem to be somewhat random. Um, we also don't have very small numbers, um, but we don't have any negatives either. So for this, let's just pick the points 2, 5, and 4, 13. We'll label those x1, y1, x2, y2, and we'll again go through our slope calculation. So we have 13 take away 5 over 4 minus 2, which simplifies to 8 over 2, which simplifies again to 4. A slope of 4 tells us that we have a diagonal line. Seems to be the popular choice here today. So we start with point slope form. y minus 5, hopefully you have that written down from your previous examples, equals 4 times x minus 2. We just plugged in the x1, y1, and the slope. We're going to bring down the left-hand side while distributing on the right-hand side. Last step, add 5 to both sides and simplify. So y equals 4x minus 3. So really, if you look back at all of these examples, these notes are going to look very similar to the notes where we wrote the equation from two points. It's just that we didn't select the two points for you. You have to pick them out of the table. And again, you can pick any two points from the table that you would like. You just have to uh, be consistent and make sure that you're labeling them and following through the process. This concludes your notes. You are now ready to begin the practice.